I'm not paying you for a weather forecast. Y you know there are lots of places where you can get the weather for free, right? No, they actually use state-of-the-art satellite technology and computer models and... Well, that's not a very nice thing to say about Al Roker. Dear Tim and Moby, What is weather? Sincerely, Domenica. Basically, weather is the condition of the atmosphere at a certain place and time. Well, the weather depends on a lot of factors. First off, there's temperature. You probably all know about that. It's a measure of how hot or cold the air is, and it depends on how much energy the air receives from the sun. Temperature is measured with a device called a thermometer and is usually calculated in degrees Celsius or degrees Fahrenheit. Temperature is related to another factor, humidity. Humidity is the amount of water vapor in the air. Yep, the air around us is full of water. You can't usually see it, but it evaporates from lakes, rivers, oceans, even from trees. There are two types of humidity. Absolute humidity is a measure of how much water vapor the air is capable of holding. The hotter the air is, the more moisture it can hold. Relative humidity is a measure of how much moisture there actually is in the air. It's expressed as a percentage of the absolute humidity. If the relative humidity is 100%, it means the air is totally saturated with water. When the humidity rises, the air feels heavy, sticky, and uncomfortable. That's right, when the humidity gets near 100%, the air can't hold any more moisture. If the temperature falls at this point, the water vapor starts returning to its original liquid state. It comes together in a process called condensation. When condensation happens close to the ground, it can produce mist or fog. And way high up in the atmosphere, condensation makes clouds. Eventually, the water in the clouds comes back to Earth as rain, snow, or hail. What next? Oh, right, air pressure. You might not realize it, but the air around you actually has weight. We measure air pressure with a device called a barometer. In areas of high pressure, air slowly descends toward the Earth's surface. High pressure areas are associated with clear, sunny days. In areas of low pressure, air rises upward into the atmosphere. Low pressure areas bring high humidity, clouds, and, you guessed it, rain and other precipitation. When you look at a weather map, you'll see all the different areas of high and low pressure marked with big H's and L's. These air masses are constantly moving around. A high-pressure area that's over Ohio on Wednesday might be over New York City on Thursday. The boundaries between these air masses are called fronts, and that's where heavy storms and other serious weather can take place. Anyway, an area's long-term weather patterns determine its climate. For example, areas near the equator have a warm climate, while areas near the poles have a much colder climate. So that's weather. Wow, whoever signed up for your site must be really desperate. The great storm of 2021.
Holy cow. Bien, estamos de retorno a través de la deportiva. Uy, ahí está un remolino en el campo de juego. Para que ustedes lo, lo vivan en vivo y directo. Se lo va a comer al árbitro, se lo comió nomás. Vuela algo, vuela una cosa más. Espero que no llegue por acá, hay que sostener todo lo que tenemos en nuestro lugar. El remolino, primera vez que estoy viendo un remolino en vivo y directo aquí en la deportiva. Esto no era un, to Esto no era un tornado. Parecía otra cosa, algo cayó Marco Antonio. La puerta, la puerta, ¿eh? la puerta se cerró violentamente. Sí. Oh, that roof is coming. Holy sh Totally crazy. It's coming right, it is coming right over the top of me. It's a little bit scary. And I don't really know what to do except, I guess, sit here. Maybe duck down. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Crazy, crazy. Yeah. Ridiculous. Scary. The truck is, oh my gosh. Holy smokes. getting out to look I'll look and see if there's any truck damage later it actually the water's coming in in the room through the air-conditioned vent oh man there's a car floating oh shit we're staying in the water Okay, this is Hurricane Katrina. The time is roughly uh, 25 minutes after 8, give or take 5 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna get some stills. Careful that window. Alright, that's a good shot of you. I'm gonna try to get you in the car in the background. You know what? Right. These walls are going to start coming in. Yeah. Taping this? Yes. I'm taping this. Yeah, I'm ready to roll. Oh, 
that's not good, part is it? Just oh, no, no, they're just oh, they're passing by. <laughs> Touchdown. The tornado watch remains in effect until 10 p.m. for southeastern Pennsylvania. Repeating, the tornado warning has been allowed to expire for the following counties in Pennsylvania, Delaware, Montgomery, and Philadelphia. The flood warning remains in effect. The flood warning continues for the Swatara Creek and Harbor Tavern from late tonight until further notice. At 3.15 p.m. Wednesday, the stage was 6.4 feet. Flood stage is 9.0 feet. Moderate flooding is forecast. Forecast, the river is expected to rise above flood stage late this evening to a crest of 14.8 feet tomorrow morning. It will then fall below flood stage Friday afternoon. Impact, at 9.0 feet, several driveways and other minor roadways are affected. Water begins to enter some basements. Impact, at 10.0 feet, high water isolates several houses. Impact, at 12.0 feet, a number of secondary homes are closed, resulting in some evacuations. like dozens and dozens and never had anything like this. <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm in total shock. Like... Real quick, this is the eye wall, the stadium effect. Looking all the way around. There's Colt. Put it on the... Yes.